Well, we're on to our fifth and final step. I went back to the truck and got the, the seed in the cedar, and uh, when I got back, Ryan had, had had the plot all rolled out and ready for seed. Well, we got our own roll, Jeffrey. Looks good, Ryan. Got the seed in the cedar. Got a pretty good moisture level in this dirt, so I'll let you have the honors of, of getting her seeded up. With this plot being so small, uh, we decided just to go ahead and hand seed it. We wanted to put two different kinds of seed in, so we went ahead and put them in the same uh, seeder and just make one pass. I guess we'll mix some alpha rack and some double cross together and make a little deadly combo here. Oh yeah, It'll be the ultimate combo. You know, there's a lot of different seed options, uh, but for this particular plot, I wanted something that I could put in here uh, and, and you know, it would last for two or three years and I wouldn't have to reseed it. Jeff chose a mix of annuals and perennials and that's a great strategy to have in a kill plot like this. Your annuals are going to come on strong in the fall and then while the deer are eating those annuals, your perennials are going to develop that root system and become very, very strong. You come in in the winter time, frost seed it one more time, mow your annuals off in the spring and you've got a beautiful looking spring plot. Yeah, that would be, won't take you no time to get this seeded and we'll roll over it one more time and we'll be in good shape. You got plenty of seed. It's like what six, seven pounds of seed. Yeah, enough to do uh, oh about a half acre. Or so, like to overseed just a little bit. Make sure you get a good stand. Coming nice and thick. Good deal. We got Jeff seeding right now. He's putting in a mix of annuals and perennials. More specific, we put in a mix of Whitetail Institute's Double Cross and Alpha Rack Plus. We'll come in this winter, we'll frost seed with some chicory and some clover, and it's going to be an awesome, awesome plot come this spring. You know, when you're hand seeding like that, you can see that seed coming out and it, and it looks like it's going on pretty thick, but uh, you know, in my mind, that's the best money you can spend, and don't be afraid to overseed it. Putting it on pretty thick, we got a we got more than enough seed, so I want to get her on good. Well, we came in first and we took a soil sample. We chemically burned it, came in and spread our fertilizer, tilled it, planted the seed. Five simple, simple steps to establishing an awesome food plot. Well, we've done everything we can do. Now we're kind of putting it in Mother Nature's hands, get a little rain. So our fifth and final step is complete. This baby is back in the shape.